Hello, my name is Connor Quinlan, and in this review I'm going to talk about how white balance works on your camera. Now right here I have the Nikon D300, so the white balance settings and the placement on the camera is going to be a little different than other Nikon digital SLRs, but the concept is basically the same. The white balance on the D300 is located right up here where my finger is, and I press that down, and I'm able to change it simply by swirl twirling this multi-selector here on the side. Now, first question that I want to answer is exactly what does the white balance do? Well, white balance basically changes the tint or the hue of the image from either a cooler tint to a warmer tint. Now, what, what do I mean by cooler or warmer tint? Well, a cooler tint means that the image is going to have kind of a bluish tint about it. And then the warmer the tint, the tint of the image, or the warmer the white balance, that means the more orangish the tint is going to be in the image. And basically what I'm going to do is going to show you an example of that. First you have the auto mode, which automatically chooses the white balance for you. And right after that you have iridescent mode, which is the cooler end of the white balance. So the white balance on iridescent mode is going to be more of a bluish tint. And then as you go up from there, it gets warmer and warmer until you reach shady mode, which is the last mode of white balance on most digital SLRs. And it's going to give you a very, very orangish tint. And basically what I'm going to do is take two pictures, one at iridescent and one at the shady mode, to show you the difference between the two. This one right here is on shady mode. As you can see, it's got kind of got that bluish tint about it. And then now I'm going to set it to shady. And as you can see, it's a lot, a lot, has a much more orange tint or much more warm color. And here you can see the difference between the two. So that's basically essentially what white balance does to your image. So basically what white balance does is it uses different tints of color, whether cooler or warmer, in order to make the image match what you're seeing with your eyes. For example, you're going to see that each of these white balance settings has a little image in a certain um, time when it's used. Iridescent mode has a little light bulb here, so obviously you would use this mode for indoor lighting when you have indoor light going on. If you used any other mode other than, other than iridescent mode, the image would come out really orange and really warm. So if you want to get an image that looks like what you're actually looking at, you'd set it to iridescent mode and then you would get an image that is similar to what you're looking at with your own eyes. The next mode is fluorescent mode, and obviously you use that when there's fluorescent lighting. Next is sunny mode. You use that when it's sunny out or when you're doing outdoor photography. Next mode is flash mode. You obviously use that when you're using a flash. Cloudy, you would use that when it's more cloudy out. And then shady, and obviously you'd use the shady mode when, it's, when you're taking pictures of subject, subjects in the shade. So using these different white balance settings is pretty basic. You just use the one according to which um, situation you are in. However, you'll also notice that throughout the different white balances there are these slight adjustments that I do to each white balance. For instance, on the sunny mode, I adjusted it up to A2. And basically what you can do with these white balances, I can go from A1 to A6 or from B1 to B6. Now at zero, that's meaning it's using the direct sunny mode that the camera usually uses as a white balance. But when I go up to say A2, when I go up into the A modes, I'm actually making the image a little bit warmer, but only slightly warmer. So the higher I go in the A's, the warmer the image is going to be, and the B's are the complete opposite. If I were to go down in the B's, it's going to make the image a little bit cooler. And of course, the higher the number next to the B, the cooler the image is going to be. And the reason I like to use A2 on things like sunny mode like I have here is because I tend to like my landscape images to be a little bit warmer than the, corm than the camera would normally make them. And it's pretty much the same way with cloudy mode. When it's cloudy out I usually like my images to be a little bit warmer so I adjust it up slightly so it's a little warmer than it would normally make it on cloudy mode. And of course if you're not, if you don't feel comfortable using all those different settings of white balance, the auto mode works really, really well on almost all digital SLRs. Um, ex digital SLRs. So if you just want to leave your camera in auto mode, it actually works pretty well too. And as you can see, I also adjust it slightly warmer as well because once again, I just like my images to be a little bit warmer than the camera would normally have them. And that is pretty much the function of white balance.